Hi, Sarah Seaman here, Magic School team member and longtime math teacher. This is the beginning of a mini series designed specifically to leverage the Magic School tools in the secondary math classroom. The first tool we're going to be looking at is this DOK questions. And just to kind of give you all an idea of what this is for, this is to give us a little bit more clarity on question structures. And this doesn't mean easy to hard questions. This just really goes through four levels of thinking required for students to master the topic. Quick plug, if you wanna go down into the description and click on that one pager, you can follow along with me, or you can just have that once we're done. I was a AP Calculus AB teacher for several years. So I'm going to focus on one of my old standards. And a few things to point out that I'm telling it where I got this information. So CED College Board, I'm letting it know the course, AP Calculus AB. And then this was just to control C, control V, just throwing in that standard 8.1, finding the average value of a function on an interval. With the generation, we can see here that I have at least, well, I have two questions. I can ask for more. Two questions in each category of that depth of knowledge. So on that very lowest level, what is the bare minimum? That's that recall, calculate. And then we even go up into that extended thinking. Because I've been tasked to utilize this a lot more in my classroom, we could, we could go with these real world scenarios, super great, lots of preempt, preemptive questioning here, but I can also say, can you actually provide me with some sentence stems for students to use to answer? That's a great place for me to put this in a mastery check or for me to ask these questions at the end of class and create some turn in talks or some spaces for students to be able to grasp this information. So with that prompting here, they're completely correlated to these questions. And now I have sentence stems really easy to give to students so that they have a place to start and they can focus on what they know, not just how they are going to say it. Quick plug to check that description again and grab the one pager. And I hope that you stay around for some more math videos. Thanks all, have a great day.